What if I told you that right now, an object from another star system is flying through our solar system and it's breaking the laws of physics? This isn't science fiction. In fact, some studies suggest that our solar system is visited by an interstellar object like this as often as seven times a year. But this time is different. It's forcing NASA scientists into a debate that could rewrite everything we know about the universe. This mysterious object has been dubbed 3I Atlas, and what it's doing is, by all accounts, physically impossible. I'm talking about behavior so unusual that when the first streams of data came in, the initial assumption among researchers was that it was due to an instrument error, but every diagnostic confirmed that the instruments were working with perfect precision, and what they're detecting suggests that we may be observing something much more profound than a mere comet passing through interstellar space. Let me be clear, in my 50 years as a theoretical physicist, I have seen scientists repeatedly dismiss extraordinary discoveries simply because they do not fit our established models, but with Three, I, Atlas, we have no choice. Anomalies are piling up with such speed and consistency that even the most mainstream astronomers are now asking questions they once believed belong only to science fiction. And the most worrying thing, the official channels are giving us far less information than they almost certainly know. Uh, to understand this story, we have to go back to September 13th when astronomers using the Atlas Survey Array in Hawaii discovered a strange object entering the solar system from interstellar space. At first, it looked like a familiar comet like Oumuamua or Borisov and was dubbed 3I Atlas. The third confirmed interstellar visitor, but within a few weeks, things got weird. On October 3, 2024, as 3I Atlas passed Mars at a distance of 18 million miles, a series of orbiters from NASA, ESA, and China watched to measure its gravitational influence. The results baffled scientists. Its gravity was almost zero, completely contrary to all calculations. Estimated to be between 3 and 29 meters in size, it would have weighed about 33 billion tons, equivalent to more than five zero 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 Great Pyramids of Giza, enough to dislodge the orbits of Mars satellites. Yet, no gravitational influence was detected. This phenomenon directly challenges Einstein's general theory of relativity. If mass creates a curvature in space-time, how can such a massive object not exert a gravitational pull are we seeing a mirage or a form of matter that doesn't obey the laws of gravity? Some have even suggested that 3I Atlas could be a hollow structure, a mass cloaking technology, or worse, an experiment sent to observe how humanity reacts. Whichever hypothesis is correct, what is certain is that 3I Atlas has torn apart all existing limits of understanding, forcing us to ask the question, how well do we really understand our universe? This leaves us with two unthinkable scenarios, both of which challenge the entire foundation of physics and cosmology. The first possibility is that 3I Atlas is made of an exotic form of matter less dense than any known natural substance lighter than a man-made gas gel, rendering the periodic table meaningless. The second, more frightening possibility is that its interior is almost empty, leaving only a thin shell, a hollow comet, something that could never have formed naturally. Comets are born from the process of accretion where dust and ice coalesce over billions of years to form solid, homogeneous masses from core to crust. Natural physics 
does not allow for hollow structures, yet 3i Atlas defies this rule. Raising an impossible to ignore hypothesis, if nature did not create it, then who did? A deliberately hollow structure always implies engineering and purpose. Could this be a ship, a communication station, or even a lighthouse sent by another civilization? Scientists were forced to open up a new category called unexplained interstellar objects, where natural origin was no longer the only hypothesis. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who had previously disputed the hypothesis of Oumuamua, analyzed the rotational dynamics of 3i Atlas and found that its rotation rate did not fit any physical model too slow to be a solid object, but too stable to be a dense comet. The only explanation was that it was empty inside a purposefully designed structure. But that's just the beginning. If 3i Atlas is indeed a man-made object, the next question that makes all of humanity shudder is, what was it created for and by whom? The second anomaly has scientists even more shocked. 3i Atlas is slowing down. And this, if true, is a blatant violation of the fundamental laws of physics that we have believed for hundreds of years. Think about it. When a comet naturally approaches the sun, it always accelerates. Solar radiation sublimates ice and gas on its surface, creating jets that act like tiny rocket engines, pushing the comet away and making it fly faster. It's basic Newtonian mechanics. Backed up by centuries of observations, even Divi Tukstoshi Septini Pasmits Oumuamua, the first interstellar object accelerated away from the sun without any sign of outgassing, a mystery that has puzzled astronomers for years. But at least it accelerated in a direction that solar radiation pressure could explain. 3i Atlas is different. It does the opposite between September 23 and 26, 2024. Data collected from the James Webb Space Telescope, ground-based radar, and Doppler measurements from Mars probes all agree on something incredible. The object's velocity dropped from 42, 4 kilometers per second to 42, 2 kilometers per second, a change of just zero, Two kilometers per second may sound small, but in the scale of celestial mechanics, it's a tremendous roar, a sign of intentional force, not random. Instrumental error could not have produced such a steady, uniform slowdown. There is no natural phenomenon in interplanetary space that could have slowed down an object traveling at such enormous speeds. Solar radiation only pushes objects away it cannot slow them down. Cometary outgassing is always accelerating, never once acting as a brake, and the sun's gravity, by all laws, can only pull objects inward, making them move faster, never slowing them down. So what is really going on with 3i Atlas? An artificial control system, an unknown anti-gravity force, or perhaps this is the first evidence that we are not alone, that something or someone is deliberately controlling the movement of this object. That question, for now, hangs in the cold void of space, where science and mystery meet in absolute silence. Let's consider the possibilities, each of which opens up a new layer of mystery. The first theory suggests that 3i Atlas acts like a reverse solar sail. Instead of being pushed away by photon pressure, it may be using a highly reflective, precisely oriented surface to break under the light like a giant cosmic parachute. This requires perfectly stable attitude control, a form of active steering that only man-made spacecraft can perform. Indeed, spectroscopic data show that 3i Atlas has an unusually shiny mirror-like surface, the exact opposite of the dark, dusty nucleus of a natural comet. But the most shocking thing 
is that it rotates with absolute stability, like clockwork, despite millions of years of drifting through space, collisions, and radiation, a natural object cannot do that. Only something with an active attitude control system like a spacecraft can. A second theory points to the possibility that 3i Atlas uses some form of invisible propulsion, perhaps it's an electromagnetic drive system or ion propulsion technology, so advanced that its emissions are below the detection threshold of any current instrument some observers have also noted a strange green glow around 3i Atlas, possibly a trace of ionized plasma as a byproduct of artificial propulsion. But the problem is energy to change the velocity of such a massive object would require a huge energy source operating steadily for millennia. There is no natural energy source that could sustain such a system. A third, more daring theory suggests that 3i Atlas may be gravitational reorientation, using the planet's own gravity to steer itself like the gravitational kicks. We give interplanetary probes its flyby of Mars on October 3, 2024, significantly altered its velocity and its subsequent path suggests another close pass by Venus in early 2025. Then Jupiter in March 2026. The timing and position match up so perfectly that the chance of a chance encounter is about 1 in 50,000. The equivalent of flipping a coin and getting heads 15 times in a row. So incredible that it makes one wonder, is it really a coincidence no matter which theory is chosen, they all lead to the same chilling conclusion. Three, I Atlas is not a stray rock. It appears to be actively breaking, deliberately adjusting its trajectory and speed. It is behaving less like a casual visitor than like a docking station, as if it has a plan to stay in our solar system for purposes we can only speculate about and this is what makes the whole thing so disturbing. The institutional silence. After 3, I Atlas made its closest approach to Mars on October 3, 2024. Scientists expected a flood of data from close-up images to detailed orbital measurements to be released, but that didn't happen. NASA abruptly announced a government shutdown just two days before the event a coincidence so bizarre that many observers assumed it was a legitimate way to delay the release of information, the European Space Agency announced that its data was still being processed, while the Chinese Space Agency, known for its rapid release of images from Tianwen-1, went completely silent with no official statement, not a single frame to reveal the collective silence is unnerving. It repeats a pattern that has played out before. In 2017, when Oumuamua passed, many radar measurements and spectroscopic data were delayed for months. In 2019, with Borisov, the same scenario played out again. And now, with 3i Atlas, history seems to be rewriting itself with the same suspicious delay the same lack of transparency from organizations designed to share knowledge in the age of global information, where events can be instantly communicated with a tweet, silence speaks louder than any statement. When agencies say nothing, it is no longer an absence of data, but a tacit statement written in the blank. Are they hiding something? Or do they simply not know how to explain a phenomenon that is beyond human comprehension. Whatever the answer, that wall of silence has become the most terrifying part of the mystery known as 3i Atlas. Not because of what it says, but because of what it doesn't say. What haunts me most is what happened on October 29, 2025. When 3i Atlas reached its closest approach to the sun, 
about 136 astronomical units away, right in the orbit of Mars. There, it was subjected to intense heat and solar radiation. But at that moment, Earth was on the opposite side of the sun, rendering all telescopes useless. For weeks, we were completely out of sight. And maybe something happened in that data blackout. Normally, a natural comet that reaches perihelion either breaks apart due to the extreme heat or vaporizes, leaving a bright tail. But when 3i Atlas reappeared in late November 2025, it was incredibly intact. No fragments, uh, no tail, not damage. For an object thought to be made of loose ice and dust, this is absurd. Comets are fragile, easily disintegrating in the heat of the sun, while 3i Atlas survived a 124 000 plus mile per hour blast. The question is, what protected it? An unknown material, a self-regulating mechanism, or worse, did it change in ways we weren't ready to understand during that time in the shadows. Harvard professor Avi Loeb has a bold hypothesis. 3i Atlas could be a mothership, an interstellar vehicle that carries smaller objects in the void release when it passes perihelion, when the sun is hidden from all observational instruments. He likens it to a dandelion scattering seeds into space. If so, those seeds may have been released during the time we lost contact with observers wandering silently between orbits in the solar system for an unknown purpose. The Galileo project, led by Loeb, is monitoring the skies for any unusual signals or objects that coincide with this time three. I Atlas defies every law of physics, hollow where it should be solid, slowing down where it should be accelerating, stable as if under control, and surviving the extreme temperatures of the sun. Meanwhile, space agencies have gone silent when humanity needs answers most. But this is not a reason to fear, but an invitation from the cosmos an opportunity to rewrite our understanding. Every paradox is a door to new knowledge. Three, I Atlas is still there, approaching Jupiter in 2026, and who knows, it may be the key to the next chapter in human exploration, whether a natural phenomenon or a sign of other intelligence. Three, I Atlas has achieved something extraordinary, making humanity look back ask questions, and realize that the universe has never stopped challenging our imagination. Perhaps that is the true meaning of 3i Atlas. Not an end, but a beginning. A reminder that the greatest barrier to knowledge lies not in the distances between the stars, but in the complacency of our own minds. It teaches that only through curiosity, doubt, and the desire to understand can one reach the truth? The story of 3i Atlas is not over yet. Maybe it was a strange natural phenomenon, or maybe it was the first evidence that we are not alone. Whatever it was, it did the most important thing. It made us look up at the sky and wonder, what is the universe trying to tell us? If you want to follow this story as it unfolds, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for this channel. I'll be making follow-up videos as new data becomes available. Leave a comment below and let me know what do you think we'll learn about this interstellar visitor? Will it survive perihelion intact or are we about to see a fragmentation event? Um, I've read all the comments and I'm curious what you think.